I don't know how the shooter can do much more than that. The goaltender made an excellent save on a great bid for goal. Tie up and help from the winger. Hard work on the boards and glass. Trying to get something generated up the wing. On to Boychuk. Up the wing, holding on to it well. Waits from the corner. Point blast! He scores! We've got a score in the game other than 0-0 zero, zero now. We're so far up here, Doc. I'm not sure if that puck got deflected. Let's go down to Ray and see what he saw at ice level. Not only was the puck deflected, Enzo, it's through traffic as well. You're going to see on the replay that the goaltender's fighting aid the traffic. He's got to get into position for it. Right when he thinks he's got the puck at him, the puck changes directions. He just can't catch up. Solid win at center ice. Now what? He's got that one. Let's see what happens. Brought a hit towards center. The Lakers wheel one ahead up the wing. He's in his own end of the ice now. And what's up? Propelled to green. Up the wing, driving on. Nearing the last minute of this middle period. Fires off the mark. Oh, that shot had a lot of steam on it. That just missed wider than that. And it's a good pickup. Enormous collision. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. Puck is thrown to Murphy. The second period has been played, and that's the fun part. We now look forward to the third. Just a friendly reminder about tonight's silent auction. All items can be viewed and bid upon at the display near the guest services. Camp. Ryan's goal was pretty good, but is it the difference maker? It is for right now. We had to break. We are entering the third period. Based on the first two, what are you expecting to happen? Beck was. Got to feel lucky, Doc, to still be in this game with 20 minutes or more to go. Offensively, one fortunate bounce, they're back in this game. But in order to do that, they need to be way better in their defensive zone. Buck covered, whistle blown. We go down to the benches. It's Ray Ferraro. Toronto's taken a real physical tact to this game. They've been up offensively with the body. They've opened up lanes and then got the puck to the front of the net as a result of their physical play. Thanks, Ray. Professional hockey is not a game for the faint of heart. One team has certainly had the hits advantage tonight. The Maple Leafs win it. Marvelous save. No time on that one. Terrific stop from right in front of the net, but you've got to find a way to put the puck in the net. To Riley. Passing one off now to Clark. Sliced right through the middle. Let's it go. That's turned aside. Goes back into his own end of the ice to see how things are developed. The Lakers with possession in center ice. Picks it up in his own end. Pinned to the glass. Wow, what a hit. Big padded shoulders. Well, that's got to hurt. That is a solid hit. Puck loose. Couldn't drag it through. Great opportunity, but the pass didn't connect. Scorches one. Rotten quickly back. For the one-timer. Oh, what a glove he's got there. Good opportunity to regroup here after that save, but now they got to win a defensive zone faceoff. Oh, guys, man, he's looking for play of the day material on this, but it wasn't that difficult to glove stomp. 
Just over six minutes played here in the third. Only one goal hanging on the board so far. So it's one nothing. The Maple Leafs with a face-off win. Nicely into the zone. Let's it go. Off his glove. And he holds on. The shooter thought he'd made a pretty good shot here, but the goaltender's in good shape. He makes the stop, and he's able to deny the shooter on what he thought was an excellent chance. The Maple Leafs win that faceoff. Tries to get it on net. He scores! <laughs> like it got deflected right in front of the goaltender. I'm sure Ray had a much better look at that. It did get deflected, Eddie, and when we get a look at it on the replay right here, we're going to see the goal is in position, but because the puck is deflected the way it was, it gets past him in a way he just can't react to. 